Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala aşrafı al-anbiya'i ve al-mursaleen. Nabiyyina Muhammed ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sallam teslim al Recently a brother or two have asked me with regards to some uh, recently mentioned speech, negative speech about Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari hafifullah ta'ala from an individual uh, in Saudi Arabia a conference that was organized by some individuals, may Allah guide them, and protect the people from their harm and their evil. With regards to our beloved Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Abdullah bin Abdurrahim bin Mahmoud al-Bukhari, hafifullah ta'ala. And by the grace of Allah, we um, had the chance to sit with Sheikh Abdullah from about 1998-1999 up until the time we left al Medina, the Sheikh Abdullah, without a doubt, was from the prominent scholars there in al Medina. You had your senior scholars, the likes of Sheikh Rabia, the likes of Sheikh Abdul Musan al Abad, the likes of Sheikh Ubaid, Hafizum Allah Ta'ala, Sheikh Ali Nasr al Faqihi, and then you had your younger level of scholars, the likes of uh, Sheikh Abdul Bukhari, and those that were on his level in terms of age. And indeed, Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Habibullah Ta'ala, was from the prominent scholars of his, uh, of his age. He was from the prominent scholars, individuals very, he was very, very much distinguished. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Habibullah Ta'ala. Um, and Saraha, you know, I can, I can go on for hours to speak about Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari until this day, having a very, very close relationship with him. And from the things that distinguish Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari Habib Allah Ta'ala from his contemporaries is he was from those who had a very, very close relationship as a student um, of Sheikh, Sheikh Muhammad Aman al-Jami Habib Allah Ta'ala Very, very close relationship. So much so, I could say that I don't know a scholar that I benefited from, from the scholars of Medina that benefited with the fawa'id from the life of Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami, alayhi, like Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. He was so close to him. He told us about the lessons of Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami. He told us about the character of Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami. He told us about the, the, the close relationship that he had with Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami, alayhi, like no other scholar. Like no other scholar. Likewise, he gave us great benefits. Great benefits from the life of Sheikh Hamad al Ansari. He was also a student of Sheikh Hamad al Ansari, rahmatullahi alayhi. So Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, hafizullah ta'ala, is, is tremendous benefits that we uh, obtain from, from our studies and our sitting and our relationship with Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari till this day. Until this day. And like the brothers have mentioned, and he's a student, the scholars of the past, the likes of Sheikh Muhammad Aman al Jami, the likes of Sheikh Hamad al Ansari, and the scholars of the present, present the likes of Sheikh, Abdu, Sheikh Rabia, Habib Allah Ta'ala, the likes of Sheikh Abdul Musa. And there were times we would visit Sheikh Abdul Musa al Abad, Habib Allah Ta'ala, and we would find Sheikh Abdul Bukhari there in his house, reading books to Sheikh Abdul Musa on more than one occasion. On more than one occasion, he was reading books to Sheikh Abdul Musa. And recently, about two years ago, I'm saying comparatively recently, Sheikh Abdul Bukhari Hafiz Allah Ta'ala informed me when he visited Riyadh that Sheikh Abdul Musin called him to his house because he wanted to do some research with him. He wanted to do some research with him. With him. So we noticed that, we witnessed that. Sheikh Abdul Bukhari Hafiz Allah Ta'ala visiting Sheikh Abdul Musin, reading books, sitting with him. And likewise, there were times that we visited Sheikh Ubaid Hafiz Allah Ta'ala and we were sitting in the house of Sheikh Ubaid and it was time for us to leave and he said, no, stay. I have a guest coming and I want you guys to, to be present. And it was who? It was Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. So Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari is well known. Well known. Walillah alhamd. Thabit. Somebody who's firm. Firm. Walillah alhamd. Because he was brought up in terms of knowledge by the likes of Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Muhammad al-Man al jami by the likes of Sheikh Hamad al-Ansari, present day scholars, the likes of Sheikh Rabia, the likes of Sheikh Abdul Musan al-Abad, the likes of Sheikh Ubaid. So in the individuals that speak negatively about him, Saraha, without any proofs or any evidences, it doesn't, it doesn't harm. It doesn't harm, and is it because of jealousy or is, is it because of envy? It returns upon those individuals. Sheikh Abdul Bukhari, walillah alhamd, as the, he's praised, there are, there's praise uh, 
for Sheikh Abdul Bukhari by way of Sheikh Rubia, by way of Sheikh Ubaid, by way of Sheikh Abdul Musa al Laban, and by way of other scholars, by way of many, many other scholars. And a person of ilm, a person of ilm, a person of istiqamah, he's a person of knowledge, he's a person uh, who's known for being upright, and he's an individual that has a great focus on da'wah. Individual has a great focus on da'wah and islah. And islah, his durus, walillah alhamd, his durus are continuous and he's very consistent. And his, his, his books, his authoring of books, walillah alhamd, he has books in the, in the Islamic library. Likewise, I said islah, rectification, Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, and we witnessed this. Any of the students that studied during that time and up until the t today, they witnessed that Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Hafibullah Ta'ala, when there was discord between the students of Medina, whether it was the Saudi students or the Yemeni students or the American or British students, Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari would call us and say, come to my house. Let's sit. Let's discuss it. Let's rectify these affairs. And there were times that individuals would begin to go in a, a different direction. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari would call us and say, what do you guys have on this individual? I'm going to call him to my house and I'm going to speak to him. And likewise, up, to, up until the today, Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, at times, he calls brothers that live in Riyadh. He says, are you brothers meeting? Are you brothers gathering? Are you brothers visiting one another? Are you brothers advising one another? And Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Hafizullah Ta'ala, well, Saraha, I can go on and on about the fada'il, the, the virtues of Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Hafizullah Ta'ala. And this is not from defense of him. Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari doesn't need anyone to defend him. Walillahi alhamd. And if anyone wants to speak negatively about Sheikh Abdul Bukhari, bring your proofs and evidences. His lectures are available. His books are available. Sheikh Abdul Bukhari is sahib al-ilm. He's a person of knowledge. And he's a person that's very, very academic. Yani from the, from the, yani especially when it comes to rudud ala ahl al-bid'ah. Yani who was from the, the prominent individuals that refuted Abu Hassan al-Ma'arabi? Sheikh Abdul Bukhari. And... Sheikh Ahmed al-Najmi, rahmatullah did an introduction to his book and praised his book. Likewise, who was from amongst the individuals that refuted Ibrahim al-Rahili with ilm and burhan from his own books? Sheikh Abdullah al-Bukhari. And so an individual to come today, or individuals to come today and speak negatively about him and without any proofs or evidences, bring from his books, from his recordings, bring it. As for Akila Waqal and, you know, he, he say, she say, that's, it's, it's unfortunately... It's Fadi, Kalam Fadi. Kalam Fadi has no proofs, nor evidences. And those individuals that organized it and supported it and concurred with it, may Allah Azza wa guide them and, and protect the people from their harm. Protect the people from their harm and protect the people from their evil. Allahumma astan. This is just something very, very small. And bi'idhin Allah ta'ala, you know, the brothers, uh, brothers in, in, in the West, they will have lectures too, because this is from the rights of a scholar. The rights from a scholar upon the rights of a scholar upon his students is that his students spread their fadail, spread their virtues, and they speak about how they learned and how they benefited. So much can be said about Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari, Sheikh Abdullah Ibn Ibrahim, Ibn Mahmud Al Bukhari, Hafizullah Taala, and we ask Allah Azza to bless him and to uh, protect him. And we ask Allah Azza to increase him in knowledge and taqwa, and we ask Allah Azza to bless him and his family and protect him and his family. Allah knows best. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barakatuh. Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Taslim and kathira.